Building a small, simple drone is both an interesting and rewarding project. It gives you a practical insight into the world of electronics, aerodynamics, and modern remote control technology. Whether you do it for fun, educational purposes, or just to satisfy your curiosity, assembling a basic quadcopter can be truly feasible, even for beginners. Let's analyze the process step by step so you not only understand how to assemble a small drone, but also why each component is important and how they work together smoothly. Before starting, it is important to gather all the necessary components. A typical small drone, often called a quadcopter because it has four propellers, requires a frame, four motors, four electronic speed controllers, ESCs, one propeller for each motor, a flight controller board, a battery, usually a lithium polymer or LiPo battery, a radio transmitter and receiver, along with some supporting materials such as wires, connectors, and mounting hardware. Each part plays an important role. So let's take a closer look at each one. The drone frame is basically its skeleton. For a small, simple drone, lightweight but sturdy materials are the best choice, such as plastic, carbon fiber, or even sturdy foam. The frame should have four arms, each designed to mount a motor at the end. You can buy pre-made frames, or if you prefer DIY creativity, you can make one yourself using a ruler, wooden sticks, or any made in lightweight but sturdy material. The goal is to create a solid, balanced, and symmetrical platform, which is crucial for stable flight. Next are the motors. For small drones, brushed motors are inexpensive and easy to find, while brushless motors offer higher performance and longer lifespan. Each motor controls a propeller, generating the lift needed for your drone to take off. Pair each motor with a propeller, usually two spinning clockwise and two spinning counterclockwise to balance the rotational forces and ensure smooth takeoff and stable hovering. To control the complex coordination of these motors, you will use a flight controller. This is the brain of your drone. It reads data from sensors, such as gyroscopes and accelerometers, to determine how the drone is oriented, then adjusts the speed of each motor in real time to maintain stability. There are many open-source flight controllers that are beginner-friendly, such as those based on Arduino or more advanced beta flight boards that come pre-installed with stabilization software. Each motor needs a channel connected to the battery, but it cannot draw power directly. That is why an electronic speed controller, ESC, is used. The ESC converts signals from the flight controller into the precise amount of electricity needed for each motor, adjusting the speed for turns, altitude changes, and maneuvers. For your small drone, make sure the ESC matches the voltage and current ratings of both the motor and the battery. The battery you choose is very important. LiPo batteries are popular because they provide a high energy to weight ratio but need to be handled carefully to ensure safety. Consider a battery with a small capacity, for example from 300 to 800 mAh, for typical mini drones, consisting of two or three cells to keep the drone light and the flight time sufficiently long. Always choose a battery with an output power suitable for the requirements of your ESC and motor. Of course, flying is not possible without a control device. A basic radio transmitter, usually operating at a frequency of 2.4 GHz, combined with a receiver mounted on the drone. The transmitter is your handheld controller, controlling throttle, steering, and sending other flight commands. The receiver on the drone decodes and then transmits those commands to the flight controller. 
These controls manage the drone's altitude, speed, rotation, and tilt. After gathering all these components, it's time to assemble. Start by securing the motors at the ends of the four arms of the frame, ensuring the mounts are firmly and securely attached. A loose motor will cause vibrations which can confuse the flight controller's sensors. Attach the propellers, carefully checking their rotation direction to ensure that two spin clockwise and two spin counterclockwise. Next, attach the ESCs to the arms of the frame, as close to the motors as possible to keep the wires short and manageable. Securely connect each ESC to its corresponding motor using solder joints or available connectors. Then, gather the output wires from the ESCs, usually three wires for each brushless motor, and route them toward the center of the drone where the flight controller is located. The flight controller can be mounted on shock-absorbing pads or foam mounts to reduce the impact of vibrations. Connect the ESC signal wires to the appropriate channels on the flight controller. This task will be easier by referring to the user manual or the wiring diagram of the controller. Plug the receiver into the controller, either through standard pins or via a serial port, depending on compatibility. After connecting, attach the battery to the center of the drone to ensure balance. Secure it with straps or Velcro. Carefully check all connections, making sure that the wires are not tangled or hanging loosely. Neat and tidy wiring is very important for safety and performance. Before your first flight, configuring the flight controller is very important. Most have user-friendly software that you can access via a USB port on your computer. You will calibrate the gyroscope and accelerometer, set up safety modes, such as what happens if the transmitter signal is lost, and confirm that control commands produce the correct motor responses. Many controllers also offer basic automatic stabilization functions to help beginners fly more safely and steadily. When the software installation is complete and all connections have been checked, place your drone on a flat surface. Activate the drone. This is a special command to prepare the motors for takeoff and gently increase the throttle to check if each propeller is spinning correctly. Observe for signs of imbalance, excessive vibration, or propellers spinning in the wrong direction. If all functions are working well, slowly lift the drone to hover gently, keeping the control movements smooth. Flying requires practice. Small adjustments to the throttle, tilt, yaw, and roll help you lean, turn, ascend, or descend. Keep your movements small and controlled as you get familiar with drone controls. Land gently and check if any parts have become loose during the flight. Over time, you will become more confident and may want to modify your basic drone, perhaps by adding a small camera, experimenting with a flight stabilizer, or optimizing the frame for better performance. No matter how simple your first model is, building a small drone yourself provides valuable insights into electronics, engineering, and flight physics, and most importantly, the great joy of defying gravity with a machine you created from scratch.